artist's illustration of the potentially life-supporting supra-earth planet K218b and its newfound neighbor, K218c. Both planets orbit the red dwarf star K218, which lies 111 light-years from Earth, in the constellation Leo. Credit Alex Borsmer a possibly habitable alien world may be rocky like Earth, and it has a neighbor, a new study reports. The potentially rocky exoplanet is K218b, which lies 111 light-years from Earth in the constellation Leo. It was discovered in 2015 by researchers using NASA's prolific Kepler Space Telescope. Those original observations revealed that K218b likely orbits in the habitable zone of its dim red dwarf star, that is, within the range of distances where liquid water could exist on a world's surface. In addition, the discovery team found that K218b is about 2.2 times bigger than our planet, making it a so-called supra. How habitable zones for alien planets and stars work Infographic Super Earth straddle the fuzzy size boundary between terrestrial planets and gaseous worlds like Neptune, so the makeup of K218b was unclear. Team of astronomers therefore studied the planet with a high accuracy radial velocity planet searcher HARPS, an instrument installed on the 11.8 foot 3.6 meters telescope at the European Southern Observatory's La Silla Observatory in Chile. HARPS detects the tiny wobbles that orbiting planets gravitational tugs induce in the host star's movements. Such radial velocity data can help pin down the alien world's mass, allowing astronomers to calculate their densities provided their diameters are known and make inferences about their composition. In this case, the HARPS observation suggests one of two options for K218b. It's either a rocky world with a thin atmosphere, like Earth, or a water world covered with a shell of ice, study team members said. With the current data, we can't distinguish between those two possibilities, study lead author Ryan Cloutier, a PhD student at the University of Toronto and the University of Montreal's Institute for Research on Exoplanets, said in a statement. But with the James Webb Space Telescope, we can probe the atmosphere and see whether it has an extensive atmosphere or it's a planet covered in water. NASA's $8.9 billion JWST, the highly anticipated successor to the agency's Hubble Space Telescope, is scheduled to launch in early 2019. Astronomers will use the new telescope to make a range of observations, from studying the universe's earliest stars and galaxies to scanning the atmospheres of nearby exoplanets for potential signs of life. Astronomers have confirmed more than 800 planets beyond our own solar system, and the discoveries keep rolling in. How much do you know about these exotic worlds? Zero of ten questions complete alien planet quiz are you an exoplanet expert? Zero of questions complete K218b is now one of the best targets for atmospheric study it's going to the near top of the list study co-author René Duyon said in the same statement. Duyon is principal investigator for the Near Infrared Imager and Slitler Spectrograph, a Canadian space agency instrument on board JWST. K218b circles its parent star every 33 days. But the study team also noticed another signal in the HARPS data that kept recurring every nine days. After performing a series of analyses to make sure the mystery signal WASNT just noise, the researchers determined they'd found a new planet. Being able to measure the mass and density of K218b was tremendous, but to discover a new exoplanet was lucky and equally exciting, Cloutier said. The newfound K218c seems to be a supra like its sibling. But the similarities may end there. The closer orbiting K218c is probably too hot to support life as we know it, study team members said. Follow Mike Wall on Twitter at Michael Wall and Google. Follow us at Space.com, Facebook or Google. Originally published on Space.com.